So, we're going to be working on activity 1.2.3, Electrical Circuits Physical. One of the first things we're going to do in this activity is we're going to set up a breadboard. And we're going to do this as practice today in Tinkercad. So let's open a new tab on your Google browser. Go to tinkercad.com. Now, when you get to Tinkercad, you're going to want to click Circuits over here on the left and create a new circuit. And you're going to pop up with a blank window, which is great. There's going to be a strange name up here. Click that name and type your name. So I know this is yours. So then you're going to want to bring a breadboard in. So if you go to the right hand panel and we're going to change this to all for our components so we can see everything in here and we're going to look for a breadboard. Hopefully we'll find one. Here we go, breadboard, drag and drop. Now you have your breadboard on your primary um, workspace. If you hold the mouse over the breadboard and you hit R, it will make it rotate and change the positioning if you would like to change the orientation. Um, some of the things you should understand with a breadboard. Underneath the plastic is a bunch of metal strips that connect each one of these rows. So if you highlight over like row one, you'll see that F1 is connected to G1, H1, I1, and J1. And if you go down here to 15, F15 is connected to J15. These are all connected together. Down on here, A1 is connected to E1 or D1, but it is not connected to F1, but we can connect that. And if you go down to the bottom for the red and the black, these are generally used for positive and negatives. So this positive line underneath, there's a strip that connects this entire row of positive. Same with this negative. And up here, this negative and this positive are connected too. However, this negative is not connected to that negative at the bottom. Neither is the positive. But we can connect those. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to add a power supply. So if we scroll till we find a power supply, then we're going to drag and drop that over as well. If you do not see one or the item that you're looking for, you can type it in the search. There you go. So here's our power supply. So we're going to drag and drop this over here. And in the activity, it's going to have you change it to 9 volts. So let's type a 9 here and don't worry about the current. So now what we have is we have a power supply in our breadboard. Now we're going to connect some lines. So if we take, and I like right angles, so I'm going to take, and I'm going to click this right here to the positive, click right here, and I'm going to come over and set it in, in there. Now what you can do is if you don't like where it is, you can drag it up and change it. Then I'm going to go up here, since this is positive, I'm going to change the color to red. So now I know I have a red positive line. Now we're going to go to the negative. We're going to click go down here and then we're going to click the negative. So now we have it to the negative, but we're going to change that to black. So now we have a power supply of 9 volts and we have it connected to our breadboard. So this breadboard, this entire line will run if anything's connected to these two items, it will run an entire line in 9 volts. Now what I want to do is I want to connect these two to the bottom. So if I take the positive and I draw or I pull a line and I click up here to the positive. Now I've connected this positive line to this positive line and I'm going to change this color to red so we don't get confused. Now if I click on the negative here and I go up to the negative there then I'm going to change the color to black. Now I've connected that. Now all of our negatives on the top and bottom are connected and the positive on the bottom and the positive to here are connected. We have it all set up to add components and other items. And that is basically your first activity. You will write your name in here. After you complete this activity, you will screenshot it for a submission.